Hey dudes, lords and ladies, young and old. <laughs> Joke, say hi. Say hello. So essentially, I've had this video on my camera for a very concerning amount of time and I keep telling myself I'm gonna make a video and I always, um, I keep procrastinating. So today I'm doing it. Haha, <laughs> yay. 2022. So I'm gonna go through the ins and outs of a red carpet event. I hope you find it entertaining. That's that's it. So let's begin. Let's see. I have to recap because it was six months ago. Was it six months ago? Oh man, how the time flies. Is that a song? Ah, uh, that's my song. Hello. All right, let's see. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I went to Osea. Osea, if you don't know, is an amazing skincare brand. I literally use everything that they sell and they actually, they have headquarters right down the street from where I live. So I took a little trip over there and I really wanted my skin to look good and fresh and glowy uh, for the red carpet for, oh, I didn't even mention what red carpet I was going to. So I was in this movie. It's not out yet, but it will be soon. You guys all know that, you know, I'll, I'll update you as much as I humanly possibly can it will be on my instagram for all my instagram for updates but it's called a savannah haunting it's based on a true story it's based on a real haunted house we filmed it in the real haunted house that the hauntings took place so basically it's been showing at a lot of film festivals recently it's been doing amazing it's been winning all kinds of awards so this video is about two of those red carpets that i went to both of them happened in la no just kidding both of them were the catalina film festival different locations one of them took place in long beach one of them took place on Catalina Island. You're gonna see little clips from both of those and I'm gonna tell you what went down, what happened, and how I prepared for it. So, back to the facial. Do, 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 oh, see ya, walking in the door, meeting with the girl. Do, 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 do. Oh, the whole outside area was gorgeous. There was like waterfall sounds and like ocean sounds. Like it was just like the most calming zen area that I've ever been in and also very aesthetically pleasing. So that was nice. The woman who did it, she was incredible. She was super into um, making the facial about your mind as well as your skin, you know, and really, really being able to calm down and find peace. And also that's why I didn't get too much footage. I just want to get like, you know, a little snippet just to kind of show what the room is like to make people more comfortable if maybe they want to get a facial, but they're like, I don't know what happens, you know, like I have this little clip where I can kind of show you guys what it looks like, what the room looks like. Coming to the present moment and simply closing the windows of your eyes and connecting to your breath. So simple, deep inhales through your nose and simple audible exhales through your mouth. Yeah. So I just got my facial done. It was so beautiful. I feel so calm for once. Um, and Victoria was incredible. Highly recommend. Everything was amazing. Uh, thank you to the Osea team. Then, I think it was, it might have been the same day actually, I went to Laser Away. Everything's smooth and pretty and feminine. Anyways, they always make you feel really comfortable. Super easy. So fast. It happens so fast. I mean, you're done in like 15 minutes. So I went to laser away, got all smooth. Then Anna came into town. Funny story, okay. Anna told us what day she was gonna get in. So me and my mom are on our way to the airport, right? And we hadn't gotten a text from Anna and that's so unlike Anna, she's so on time, you know, she's so responsible. And we hadn't gotten a text from her that she was taking off. We didn't get a text that she landed. And we were like, okay, what's going on? And I text her and I'm like, hey girl, did your plane land? Like, let me know. And she's like, my flight's tomorrow. And me and my mom were like, what? No. And we go back and we check and she had never said, never, she had never said an incorrect date. She was always saying the right date. And for some reason, my mom and I just thought it was the day before and both of us. And like, that is so unlike either one of us to like get a date wrong. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And we just blanked. We totally blanked. I just think that we were so excited about seeing her because we haven't seen Anna in a very long time. So we're on our way to get Anna and she was not at the airport. Um, and then the next day she was at the airport. <laughs> she was supposed to be the entire time. Okay guys, it is the day of the red carpet and guess who's here? Where are you? Where'd you go? Wait, actually, where did... What? Where'd you guys go? Well... I've been abandoned. Ah, okay. <laughs> we got Anna. Scared you. There she is. Hi, what's up? Um, so now we're doing a little pre-red carpet yes. meal. Um, we're doing a special red carpet diet, actually. Very strict. Uh, very very strict. strict. Only frozen yogurt yep. and ice cream. Yep. It's a froyo cleanse. It's uh <laughs> it's very popular. 
Super and, creamy, uh, crisp. Yeah, it just really gets you, you know, looking red carpet ready. Looking red carpet ready. <laughs> we got ready. It took like. I don't know, like three hours. To be fair though, like I, every time I say how long it takes me to get ready, it, I'm not getting ready that whole time. Like the majority of that time, like we're playing music and dancing and like singing and being obnoxious. You know, just girls, just girly things. <laughs> Going through my computer, seeing the footage I have because man, this was a long time ago and I need to stop procrastinating doing videos and actually do them. But here I am, 2022 guys. Froyo, Froyo, me mentioning Froyo. I had Froyo today, I had Froyo today. And now we're all pretty, hooray. So then we did the red carpet, it was super chill. It's funny because we actually showed up the day before, like we were supposed to do the red carpet on the same day that our movie was showing, but we came the day before. And if you don't know, Long Beach is a pretty far drive from LA. So that was us being silly. So we came the day before and everybody was there. We got to see Mark, we got to see Alexis. Mark is the director of the film, Alexis is the producer. And we got to see their kiddos, well, Alexis's kiddos. Mark has a cat, um, we didn't get to see him. So we get to see everybody reconnect a little bit and then we went on the red carpet, did it that night and then they were like, okay, but um, technically you're supposed to come tomorrow. So we got two red carpets out of it. Hey, it worked. Here at the, <laughs> at the, <laughs> I just looked at Michael Jordan. We're here at the red carpet. We already took our pictures and we're waiting for the after party. And the lighting looks fantastic. It does. So Anna and I had to go figure out another dress option. I had one in my closet and I think Anna, where did Anna get hers from? Oh, I think, I think Anna wore one of mine. I don't remember, maybe. I think she did. I think she did. She looked great. She looked fantastic. We did like a black and black thing. Like we both had little black dresses. It was super fun. We did the two red car- oh, well, technically I guess I'm telling you about three red carpets. So there was those two, but they were right back to back. I think it was like a Friday and a Saturday or Saturday and a Sunday or something like that. We got to see our movie for the first time, which was Great. Uh, I invited a few of my buddies, Amina. You all know Amina, I post with her all the time. She's an angel. My buddy Nick and his brother Pat. They're both great friends of mine. They do a lot of my music stuff with me. They're incredible, they're so talented. Yeah, it was really great. We had a great time. And then um, afterwards, Blackwater sponsored the whole thing. It was great. There's a lot of Blackwater. I love Blackwater. If you haven't had it, it's really good. They have like lime ones. They have like all these different flavors. Uh, my godmother came and my godfather. Uh, yeah, it was great. Super fun party time. Me and Anna had a blast before and after. There's that video of me falling. <laughs> super fun, super cute. We all went to BJ's afterwards, which was super fun. I think I got ribs. Yeah, I got ribs and I think I ate every single one of them. Anytime I get ribs, I'm happy. I love ribs. I really do. I do. I do. And I used to hate them when I was younger. So weird how your taste buds change and grow and evolve. Love it. Just got home from the premiere. I don't know why I'm talking so quiet, but uh, it's 12 o'clock at night. We went to BJ's. Um, thanks for joining me on the adventure. So that was the second red carpet day. And then, right, I believe it was the next weekend, I went to the Catalina Island section of the Catalina Film Festival. So all of this is the same film festival. It was, oh, me and my mom got there and like, it was gorgeous. It was so pretty. I mean, the whole island is gorgeous, gorgeous. Like, I can't wait to go back. I wanna go back like ASAP. I mean, the architecture is insane. Oh, oh, and here's another thing, right? So I didn't even know I was gonna be going to the island version until Mark asked me to represent the movie there because they were gonna be in New York at a different film festival. So I was the one representing the movie in the Catalina Island version. So I had to super quick try to find a dress um, and I found this one that I loved so much. I loved it so, so, so much. I felt like a princess, I felt like Belle, but it was really, really expensive. So we didn't get that one, maybe for the next one. Um, <laughs> click that thumbs up on my YouTube friends haha <laughs> but anyways um, i found another dress that was just as gorgeous in a completely different way i felt like a mermaid which i loved because i really wanted to get the island vibe i always like to kind of theme my outfits to whatever event i'm going to i just think it's fun so i did a bunch of pearls i felt like a mermaid and it was like a mermaid thing it felt really cute and classy and glamorous. So that was really fun. We get up super early, right? Crack a dawn, okay? So we get up, get in the car, drive down to Long Beach, I think is where the, the boat goes from. I don't know, I could be wrong. Park in this like, there's like ships everywhere. It's like a cargo thing. I don't know, I don't know words for things. Just 
pretend I said something intelligent. So you get on the boat and then you get to Catalina and then on Catalina you can walk everywhere. Everything's walkable. It's super small. There's nowhere that you need to go that you can't walk. But there's also you can rent I think golf carts, you know. So we get there, we walk to our hotel which was like nothing. Put our luggage down. We basically had the entire day free up until like when I had to start getting ready. I think I started getting ready around one. Don't ask me how I remember that. Maybe it wasn't one. Eh, I don't know. But anyways, we get there. Go get breakfast, which was really good. So we just got to Catalina. Um, it's say hi mom. Hi. <laughs> we just got to the island. We're waiting for breakfast. Very excited about that. Um, it's beautiful. And then we just kind of like messed around. We had a great time and then it was the time for the red carpet. So I got ready. I did it pretty fast, I think. I did my own makeup. I like doing my own makeup for this kind of stuff. Plus we're on an island, so. You know, what are you gonna do? Did a little, you know, mermaid braid. I was definitely going for the mermaid theme. Uh, I feel like I kind of nailed it. But yeah, and then I did the red carpet, a bunch of interviews. They announced all the awards. So I'm here before anybody else. Got a good seat. Just did the red carpet. The theater's beautiful. I'm hoping I got that. This place looks like the Epcot ball, like the inside of the Epcot ball in Epcot. <laughs> Savannah haunting one, two, maybe three. Mm, I feel like I'm saying that incorrectly, but Savannah haunting one, a bunch of things. And uh, yeah, it was great. Went great. It was great. Everybody was nice. Everybody was super cool. There was an after party. Yeah. And then uh, basically me and my mom went back to our hotel, got some sleep. And then the next day we woke up and we had a bunch of fun on the island. There was a point that my mom was like, don't do the video. We don't have enough footage. We're not doing the red carpet ready. I didn't get anything. Just forget it. All right, no, I'm gonna find a way to do it. We just got back. We just stood around and I ate some. Not doing it. <laughs> yeah, but I have so much footage. Mm. So that's why I'm here for, with you today, explaining everything so that I don't have to in the videos. It was a great time. Basically, that's it. I don't know what else uh, there is to say. Like, if you guys have any questions, I feel like I'm explaining the obvious stuff, but maybe it's not obvious to you guys. Let me know. That was the ins and outs of the red carpet. See ya, Savannah Haunting, when it comes out. I don't know when that is, but when I do know, you will be the first to know. Follow me on Instagram to keep updated with updates. Yeah, that was English. I hope you guys have a great 2022. Uh, this is the first YouTube video that I'm doing this year. Well, actually, technically not. I did my recap of 2021. But this is, I would like to consider this, you know, the first YouTube, YouTube video, video of this video. year. Hopefully I'll be doing, not hopefully, I will be doing uh, a lot more this year. So be prepared for that. I've got a lot of music coming out. Got a lot of fun things planned for you guys. So, um, yeah, that's... That's what's going on. Let me know if you have any more questions. That's it. I never know how to end videos. So here. Perfect.